Derek, what's, I mean, so many good memories here. I know it was only a year, but what's it like being back here today? I love coming back, and it's full stop. I love coming back. I've been back a few times. Being in the change with the boys, it brings back so many memories of things getting chucked around, laughs and jokes, and it's just a great atmosphere tonight. The boys are loving it, but looking out there, there's one or two tired bodies already after 35 minutes, but it's all about raising money for the right course and also getting back together. Um, but my year here is high up there with my list of achievements. I, I loved every minute here. Travel a lot from Birmingham to get here, but the group of lads were just superb. And when you're winning things and you're going on a run, there's nothing better than it. And I do enjoy coming back up, I really do. What was it about that group, Derek, that made it, it, it gelled? We all saw it and we saw the, the res end result of it. Well, I felt like the granddad of the group, put it that way. Um, I was the old man of the group. I don't know what it was. It was, I think, Mick, when, it, when he rang me up and said, come and have a, a couple of days training up here. So I drove up on World Cup final night, 1994. Went to the Warford Hotel on the... And by lunchtime, Mick says, I want to sign you. He's seen enough of me. Um, it's one of them, as you get older, you get a bit more experience, you get a bit more of an organiser. And I found the groups of lads around me, especially the back, back four lads with Edmo, Dino, Galli and Kegabian. We got an understanding going and they listened to what I told them to do and I, I encouraged them and then training was a joy to come up for. But the whole season was just... You can never put your, your finger on what makes a winning team. But if we could bottle it and sell it, we'd all be millionaires. There's something about that group that just gelled. And you see, by the way, we are now, 25, 26 years later on, we're still a good group of lads. We love being around each other. But that season was just fantastic. And, you know, to get to Wembley for the first time in the club's history, happened to score the goal that clinched it to get us there. To win the league at Akanta was... I didn't expect to do that when I came up here. I want to do my best wherever I played. But something here just gelled. And I was disappointed to leave the club. That's another story, but... I still keep in touch with the boys and it's always nice when the WhatsApp group pings with something stupid on it and then to come up today and meet so many of the boys who were there then is great. The one or two couldn't make it unfortunately which is a disappointment but we love getting back together and fingers crossed in five or six years time when we're, we are well and truly retired we can come and watch the other teams instead of trying to play ourselves. What is it about a club like this Derek because you did all sorts with Everton everybody knows that. But here we are, little Carlisle United in comparison to that. It's got such a big part in what you are. Yeah, it, it's, it's not little Carlisle, it's Carlisle United full stop. It's, it's a unique little club because there's nothing around football league-wise for 60, 70 miles. So did a little bit of an outcrop on their own. But, you know, I don't know what it is about this place. It's, uh, I enjoy coming back to the place. I enjoy being around the lads. And I still see people when I come back who I haven't seen in 30, 25 years. How are you doing, mate? Great. But it's these group of lads and the manager who did it for me. You know, Waddy saw something in me as an old man who thought he could help the youngsters here after the, the, the season before when they just missed out on one or two semi-final. Maybe I was the missing link, I don't know, but to watch the, the progress that the Dean Wallings, the Darren Edmondsons, the Tony Gaggs, the, you know, even the Paul Conways, the progress they made over that season was, was just fantastic. And if I can take a little bit of credit for it, great, but I don't want any credit. I was just part of a team a group of lads that came together and absolutely dominated that league for that season. And unfortunately, it broke up too quickly. I would love to have stayed. But for that one season, we were the best team around that division. And I really did think that we could have gone into even better things. You've said it before, we've talked before, it was a perfect storm, wasn't it? The way that the young players, the older yeah. players, everything just came together. Yeah, you look at the youngsters. And coming, down, coming through, we had Matty Janssens, we had Roy Delaps coming through the, through the, the, the ranks and the muscle was coming through. And you, and you look back and you get, they all want to, make, to have a decent career, have it? They all made, some maybe should have done better with the careers, but most of the lads did really well in the careers. And if I've helped in any little way, it's great. But I didn't come here to help. I came up here to play football. But being the person I am with the experience, I obviously helped a lot of people around me. But I see more than now, as Dino was saying before, I see more of Dino now than when, when I played with him because we've both got a holiday home over in Spain and both in the same area. So we're always meeting up in Spain together. But to see Edmo, to see Kagi, who's not here, but Tony, I haven't seen Tony Elliott in years. You know, I've actually played for Villa against him when he made his debut for Birmingham. That's another story, he'll tell you that one day. <laughs> but to see the boys and how much they're enjoying it, it's hard work for them. They're, we are, we've got 10 years plus on some of these 8, 06, 07 side, but we, we, we've got to realise that for that one year we gave this, this, this town and this, this club 
a season to remember. And these people here behind us now, they never, they never let us forget it. And that's the, that's the nice thing about it. Whenever I come back here, I'm always made welcome with a smile and a handshake. And thank you very much. And that, that means the world to me. Nearly 1,500 here today, Degsy. That means so. That shows you what you guys mean. Yeah, it's, it's, it's both the teams. It's, it's, it's a tidy little place, and the turnout today is fantastic. And it's made some money for the right course, the Form Players Foundation here. So let's hope that none of us need it too quickly, and we put the money to one side and get a bit of interest, but not a lot in the banks at the moment. But no, it's it's nice to come back. It's nice to see the people around here, and it's nice to get the welcome I get every time I come back. And I thank them all for that. But if I made their their season. One little better, one ounce little better. It's great for me, but I just enjoyed it. I keep, like I'll say it again, I loved it up this club. I loved coming here for that one season, and I'm disappointed it ended after one season. On the serious side of this, Degsy, the, the, the fundraising for the former players fund, that's important. It is, yeah, and that's, that's one of the reasons I'm here. Uh, I can't play now. I'm, I'm approaching my 60th birthday. I've had a new knee and, a fall, and a, an ankle fusion, so I can't run around at all, but I wouldn't miss this for the world to see the lads. I've just spoke to Carl Hawley. Carl was a youngster coming when I was at Walsall. He was a young pre- apprentice coming through. Haven't seen Carl in 25 years either. So it's nice to catch up with people. And it's going to the right cause. I hope these people here today have enjoyed it. And I hope they have a good laugh because there's going to be some aching bodies after this game tonight, I promise you. Thank you.